This is step, step two in how to solve a Rubik's Cube 4x4. And this step is pairing up edge pairs so that these are the same. So this piece's partner has green and pink on it. And that piece is right here. So first, before you start pairing them up, is you choose which faces are going to be always on the top and on the bottom. I like to do yellow and black because that's what I'm most used to but it doesn't really matter now you want to get you choose a piece here in the middle rows I'll choose pink and black and this pink and black is on the top and so we look for the other pink and black which is right here now we want this piece this pink and black to be right here right here or right here so that we can match this piece up with it so all we need to do is move this pair down like this bring this pink onto this pair like this and then bring this back up so now we still have our same sides on the top and bottom and we have our two pieces here together now we would want to match these up so this piece needs to go down here and to flip a pair to switch the two pieces you bring this pair to the top layer you move it out of the way and you bring this layer back down again then you move this layer to the right and then you turn the front layer move these two pieces over to here and then bring the front layer back down and you have switched the position of these pieces like that and now you have pink and black here and pink and black here and so now all you need to do is turn it like this and you have your two pieces matched up yes it did mess up the centers but they're still in bars and they're all relative to each other so you can easily put it back now that you have your bar here, you take it out by turning right, up, right prime. And now you can bring your centers back like this. You still have your pair, and all of your centers are still correct. Now you do that again. On this, in this case, I was lucky. One was already done for me. So now I just look for another piece like this green and yellow the other piece is right here so since I want the green on top I want this green to be right here if I were to just do the normal way by turning R U prime R prime green would be on the bottom so I'll undo that so if I move this pair over to here like this and then I turn a front prime up front now the green is on the top so now I just need to match up the greens bring this pair up R U R prime and then I can match my centers back up again and now I have three done and your goal in this step is to have eight so there's one more slot here that is not completely that is not paired up so now I look around I'll choose blue and black right here so the other blue and black is right here now like the other layers if I were to bring this down bring it over to here and then bring it up again the blue and black black would be on the bottom so I'll undo that and then if I move this by doing a D, if I move it like this, it'll move it here. Now I do a front, down prime, front prime. Now my black and blue is here and here. And all I need to do is match these pieces up. Then, to get it out of here, you position a pair above it, and you would do a right. You bring the only unsolved pair 
over into that position by doing a U prime and then you bring this pair back down again so now you have your four pa uh, pairs together and then you match up your centers again and now you have four of your eight that you want to do never leave corrected edge pairs in one of these four spots because if you do it will get destroyed again so now that we have our four here we can flip the cube over so now that yellow is on the bottom and our four edge pairs are and now we do that same thing again I'll choose this pink and yellow now we look for the other pink and yellow which is right here pink and yellow is here and it's on the bottom in both cases so now we need to do our little algorithm to flip this R U R prime U prime F prime U F now you have your pink and yellow here on the top and pink and yellow on the bottom you turn it until it matches up then you take this out by doing an R U R prime and then you match up your centers again like this and so now you have your edge pair here that you just solved and you have all your corners your centers again now let's look for another one here's red and yellow right here so now I look for the other red and yellow which is right here and so we position it here and we do an R U prime R prime red and yellow here and red and yellow here and we match them up and then we want to get them to the top layer without disturbing the centers so we do an R U prime a uh, U sorry and if we were to leave this corrected pair here and bring it down again we would just be messing it up so instead we move a pair that is not correctly placed like this one over in that position and then we bring it down and now we can correct our centers again and now we have two pairs or sorry two pairs this one and this one and we still have all of our centers now we have a green and black here and a green and black here so we do the same algorithm we do to flip this we do R U R prime U prime front prime up front now it's flipped, the, flipped these two pieces now we bring the green over to here now we have our pair here so we do R position a pair that's not together on top of it and bring this down again R prime now we can match up our centers now all of our centers are done and we have one two three pairs done on the black face now since we only have one more slot left we can only solve one more pair so if I choose this blue and yellow and this blue and yellow is here we want to put this piece this layer right here so we do R U prime R prime blue and yellow blue and yellow match those two up and now we push this out of the way do an R position a pair that's not correct where that was and do an R prime and then match our centers back up again and now we have one two three four five six seven eight edge pairs done and all of our centers still in the correct spot and now for the third step which will be in the next video we will be pairing up these which will need an algorithm without messing up these